Bismillah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, Ramadan Mubarak. Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah for the gifts of this month. May they always be on increase. Ameen. I wanted to share with you a hadith which gives me pause. Um, perhaps we've heard of it before. Perhaps it um, is something that we've thought about and perhaps it is something that um, will serve as a reminder in this month. The hadith is the Prophet ﷺ sitting with his companions, peace and blessings be upon him and may God be pleased with them. And he explains to them about a man on a long journey, describing his physical state, his hair is disheveled, he's covered in dust. And this man raises his hands to the sky, calling out, Ya Rabb, Ya Rabb, my Lord, my Lord. And the Prophet ﷺ then begins to describe what God says to him. And, but before that, what we have to understand about why the uh, traveling is mentioned. It's important because we believe that there are um, what we call metaphysical causalities. There are certain things that we can do where our supplications are readily accepted and times when our supplications are readily uh, accepted. Um, and one of those times is when a person is traveling. Um, another time that we are told is between the iqama, the or the adhan, the call to prayer, and the establishing of the prayer, and the iqama. That's another time. Um, so there are again, there are places and there are times. So in this hadith, this is one of the times or conditions that a person finds himself in when their supplication is really accepted by God. And then the Prophet says, peace and blessings be upon him, that the man's drink. Uh, the man's food is haram, his drink is haram, and his uh, um, cl clothing is haram, he's nourished by the haram, and then God says, so how can I accept his supplication? And I think that this should really give us pause. Now the commentators say that it's not the man drinking prohibited things such as alcohol, for example, or eating prohibited foods such as uh, 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 pork or other things that are prohibited uh, within, within the law. However, what most of them say is that this, the, the, the money that is earned is not coming from a lawful place. So yes, we went to the halal market and we got the halal meat, however, the manner in which we have purchased the money that we use to purchase this food is from a questionable, is from a unlawful source. And so therefore it renders that food into a manner that God is not accepting our supplications. So these types of principles, these principles, if there is any time in the year when we should be giving thought to these principles, it is in this month for us to reassess and change perhaps certain aspects in our life because we want to have a recommitment to Allah. We want to have a recommitment to Islam. We have a, want to have a recommitment to our family, right? Think about that, you know, what are the impediments that are happening in my life that God is not uh, 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 looking upon me favorably. And I think that this month gives us a great opportunity to begin to examine uh, ourselves at a deeper level. So Alhamdulillah, as we said, that's some food for thought. Inshallah Ta'ala, may Allah bless this month. And Inshallah Ta'ala, um, there is the opportunity to, to, to look deeper into that and to think about that, one, from a source of income, and two, also looking at foods in and of themselves and how we should approach them and how they could impact our supplications to God and then if we are on that level, and you're saying I've checked box one, I've checked box two, then the next one is how about leaving the things in which there are doubt, doubt around them, right? There are doubtful matters. The haram is clear, the Prophet says in the hadith, the halal is clear, in the halal and bayin, in the haram bayin, wa bayin huma umur and mushtabihat, that there are, the halal is clear, the haram is clear, but between them are actions that are ambiguous. And perhaps that's an area that we want to look at to be, uh, to have, add a level of scrupulousness to our, uh, to our faith, because that's the goal. We want to continue to be a better version of ourselves at every day. 
So Alhamdulillah, may Allah accept your fasting, may Allah accept your supplications, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your charity, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of your good works. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.